Hey everyone, it's Jamie and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well today and staying safe out there. Today we are doing my build for the Sims 4 Spart Challenge. So for those of you who don't know or haven't noticed, the Sims 4 has started, or the Sims team at least, has started a new reality like competition like um, contest competition show called um the sims sparked and it has uh some prominent simmers on it you know some of them that you might recognize um like plume bella or jesse from plume bella i guess um the english simmer stefo sims they're all kind of on there um or some of them were and what this uh, kind of like game show is, is they do different like Sims challenges every week. Um, it's like super, it's like a very fun, especially if you're like into the Sims and if you're um, and, like invested in uh, members of the Sims community. But with that, the Sims team is also doing like spark challenges for the community where they're taking kind of like similar ideas that they do on the show and opening it up to the rest of the community. Pretty much how it works on uh, the Sims, at least uh, for our community members, is you log into your game and under the gallery, there will be a um, the listing for the current um, I guess challenge this one is destination weddings and you have the options of picking I believe a rustic wedding um, casino spooky island and uh, jungle I believe I don't think I'm missing any of the other ones and you can build uh, you can either build kind of like a wedding venue you can make um, a, you can make you can do stylus so you can style some sims if you really if you like to do create a sim and then also for those who do storytelling like the machinas machinas that were they called videos on youtube uh you can make a video on youtube telling your sim story all the rules are on the um sims 4 when you open up and go to the gallery so i decided i was going to do a build because i'm primarily a builder I was thinking I could maybe make some Sims, but I'm definitely more, more comfortable um, in building than I am in Create a Sim. I do love Create a Sim. It's super fun, but I don't think I make the most uh, interesting looking Sims. A lot. I feel like I use like sometimes the same nose um, for a lot of Sims. So I don't know. I was just like, eh, I'm not going to do that. I don't make, I feel like my Sims look decent. You know, they look good. They look better than some of like the townies and like, definitely better than the NPCs but you know they're not like stunning sims but I was like you know I'm a pretty decent builder I really like my build I wouldn't say I'm the best builder but I definitely enjoy it a lot and I saw when, when one of the options was spooky I was like well this is my chance I love building kind of like gothic Victorian builds and when else am I gonna get an option to do that so I decided to do that so this is what I'm doing I'm building here in Forgotten Hollow um and I am building a kind of like large gothic um home almost kind of like a castle originally my idea was to go for maybe like a gothic cathedral but because the lot isn't oriented the way I would have liked it for a cathedral I was like okay instead I'm gonna make kind of like a castle kind of um or castle like uh, mansion and just from there go on and what i end up doing is i kind of wanted to play around also with like kind of like spooky man like it's definitely very creepy there's cobwebs everywhere there's uh cracks in the walls there's like this um stains from both vampires and stranger villain there yeah it's like very nasty um and i also use um, the traits haunted and creepy crawlies and oh, oh and I think bad luck or the bad luck one and I just wanted it to be just it would just be haunted and spooky and I have kind of like two wedding chapels I guess you can call them one of them is 
kind of like I would call like a white witch wedding kind of vibes and the other one's a lot darker um, much you know not as much light and definitely definitely very kind of uh, creepy vibes and then the rest of the house is very creepy and I don't know I just kind of the idea because I thought it might be fun to you know have weddings here but the thing is you can't it's you don't always want um a creep like you don't want the photos or the screenshots you take of them maybe walking down the aisle to be like this creepy decrepit place all the time so I definitely wanted to build those two different wedding kind of like chapels just in case um but if you still want to use the rest of the build because there's so much you can do here outside of one of the chapels is also like the dining kind of like reception hall if you will it's very it's very you know creepy but also I have the tables from luxury party stuff is that what I think that that pack's called um that like stuff pack that's kind of not that great but I do love the buffet tables that came with it they're really good for community lots like the especially wedding ones because you can just you don't have to pay a caterer you just click on it and you can just like stock it with food and then you can call people to meal and then you'll have your wedding meal I usually try to put in a separate table too just for the cake I didn't really have time for it because I also wanted a bar in there so and that's definitely one of the things where since I had the two different um kind of like wedding chapels there definitely was less room that I could have used to flesh out the some of the other spaces on the first floor so you know you give and you you give and you take you know also on the first floor there is a room where like the bride can get ready if you want there's kind of like a vanity in there so she, the bride or even one of the grooms if you want really there's no rule saying it has to be a bride um can sit down and they can do their makeup and then there's like a wardrobe so you can go and you know when you show up you can maybe change um because I know for me I always plan out what my sims are going to wear for their weddings I never use like the generic preset um clothing so it's nice to have that wardrobe in there so that they can go in and just get themselves um ready for the day also on the first floor I do have a fully functioning kitchen so you can pay a caterer as well you don't have to use the luxury party um, buffets yet there's a fully functioning kitchen as well as there's a bathroom on the first floor then up on the second floor we have some bedrooms because my idea is like maybe your sims can stay here after the wedding I know we don't really have hotels right now in the game but I just thought it'd be kind of a fun thing because you know just because the wedding ends you don't necessarily need to leave the lot I believe um yeah, I don't think I don't think you just leave the lot I could be wrong but every time I've had a wedding I've, I've never know I've never been kicked off the lot even when I've ended the event so you can definitely if you want to spend the night here you definitely could just take some PTO from your sims jobs and you're just good for the night yeah, so there's one master bedroom that has like its own um bathroom suite with it that once again got some creepy vibes then there's another bedroom that i really like and then those are both double beds and then there's one with a single so you can have about five sims stay there and if you have a vampire there's a coffin in the secret part in the attic that i'll talk about where they can sleep if you want but I didn't want to have too many bedrooms because I did also want room for activities but I was thinking you know after the wedding you could you know maybe send some of your other sims home and then maybe you know your sim and you know maybe have a, a close relative stay the night there you know I don't know I just thought it'd be fun just have a fun little thing but yeah also on the second floor there's also kind of like a ballroom and in it I put down the dance um one of the dance floors from um city living and I do put a radio in there so you can have your sims go up and dance after the wedding if you want 
I also put an organ up there. So if your sims want to like, I don't know, perform or something. I don't know if you dance to organ music um, in the sims. I don't know if that's an option. I've never noticed it. But you know, if they ever do. Also, if they ever add things like slow dancing, I think that would be fun. Especially since I already um, have the like tarp down, or not the tarp, the dance floor down. So you know, just things like that. Also on the second floor, there is a library, um, just in case your Sims need something to do while, you know, if they're spending the night or even if they're just waiting for the ceremony to start. Then outside off to the side, there's a little walkway leading to this kind of stuff that I kind of took some stuff from uh, Romantic Garden. And I built this like little area where your Sims can get their photos taken. There's like two of the, and I used the Moschino camera with the Moschino um, like model placements. So you can have the two, you know, like weddings, the wedded Sims stand there and get their photos taken. And I think it'd just be nice. They're surrounded by tombstones. So it's a little spoopy. You know, so these are just like things I was just like, you know, trying to give you things to do while you're here. Now, if you also have some occult sims, there is some stuff for you to do. Up in the attic, I use the, um, that secret door that's supposed to look like a bookshelf. Yeah. And you walk through that and you go in kind of this like, kind of like occult room. It's mostly just spell casters and vampires, really. Mostly spell casters, I'm not gonna lie. Um, just because I have a big preference towards them. Um, but there's a coffin up there so your sims can sleep, as well as also up in the tower that you get to, that you can only access through the secret, like, occult room. Uh, I have a bunch of, like, brooms hung up, so it kind of looks like when the witches come flying in for, like, the wedding, they can, like, park their brooms up there, kind of like a coat check. I don't know, I thought it was kind of like a funny idea. But I also have um, a cauldron up there. I have um, some stuff from Realm of Magic, just to make it look very witchy and spooky. But yeah, overall, I also added a bunch of like the cracks, the cobwebs, really trying to use different furniture. Um, I even used some of the furniture from Spooky Day Stuff Pack. Um, not in the swatch that has the ghost face on it, but the one that just has the plain cloth because it kind of reminds me of like horror movies when like they go into the house and all the furniture is covered in um like a cloth and they're like all spooky and like ooh, what's gonna happen so that was my idea for that but yeah overall i'm pretty proud of this build um if you guys like it feel free to go download it and like it on the gallery my username is jamie horn one word j-a-y-m-e h-o-r-n-e and i i don't really know how they're gonna pick but i think the more people like your things the more likely you're to get picked i don't know um i also don't fully know what's gonna happen i honestly i don't think i'm gonna win um I was looking through the tag and just seeing so many great builds people were making. So I'm not expecting to win, but if you like this, I would very appreciate if you would go out of your way just to like it, maybe even download it. Kind of like, you know, show the Sims team that you like it too. Cause you know, that, that does, that could potentially help. But like I said, I'm not like looking, I'm not getting my hopes up. I was kind of like, put this out there with the, you would, knowing that I was like, okay, the chance of me, you know, winning this is very slim, you know, because like I said, I, I think I'm a decent builder. I think my builds are pretty good, but you know, I wouldn't say I'm like little Simsy or Simlissy for that matter, you know, like those are like the builders. I'm just kind of like a, you know, my friends look at my builds and go, oh my God, you built this? EA should totally hire you. I'm like, oh my God, you should see the things people you know, posts on the gallery and the things people, you know, just like, you know, just post on YouTube. I'm like, makes my stuff look like shit. <laughs> um, but like I said, please go ahead and like it, download it, use it even. Um, I'm trying to use it right now in my Sims game, but I don't, I don't know about you, but I sometimes have an issue with generic lots not popping up as an 
option for weddings, which is why I often make my wedding venues in my own game either parks or like some other kind of lot just because, yeah, it just, I don't know, the, I've noticed the generic venue just doesn't always work. Um, and I don't know if that's just a glitch or if it's something wrong with my game. But yeah, it's always so annoying because I, I kind of hate making wedding lots and wedding venues into like um, parks and stuff because then just anyone will come bippity-bobbing by. Like, I don't know, I, if I don't invite Nancy Langrab, I kind of don't want screenshots of her of just like in the background. And I haven't had this issue yet. Usually when I do do weddings, because um, the way I build my community lots, they're very separate from everyone else. <laughs> so, um, so it's not like people see my community, or not like the Sims walking by see my community uh, or wedding and just kind of like barge in. They're pretty good about that not happening, but it's still just kind of like annoying in general to be like, okay, um, I know you're not barging in my wedding, but I went to go take out screenshots out back and Nancy Langraps is jogging around the park, like, go away. Um, so, you know, that's just one thing to keep in mind. Um, but yeah, I did make this a generic lot. I might need to change it for my own gameplay, which I also, this is not a build I would keep in my game forever. Especially since I do like my rebuild of Strahd Manor. So, you know, this would be one I would just put down when um, I just want a, f a spooky wedding. But, you know, definitely, I, I do love, I'm very proud of this build. I actually think I like it a little bit more than my Strahd Manor build. <laughs> so maybe I'll refurbish it and turn it back into Strahd Manor. Who knows? Because like I said, I'm pretty proud of this build. I'm actually like, I did the, like, or not, I don't know, I'm just kind of like, I don't know, I think it looks nice, and I think it could be easily converted to a very usable home, but anyways, also, the reason I wanted to, I don't usually keep this, this part in my videos, I cut out a lot of the floor plan, but I want to talk about why I went with green wallpaper. So for those who don't know, in the Victorian period, they actually had, like, these magazines that talked about, like, what kind of, like, wallpaper and, um, paint, like, wall paint was, like, appropriate or in fashion and green was actually a very in pop like very popular in the victorian period and red was actually seen as like kind of being related to gluttony and you know being a very um overindulgent so little fun fact of the day anyways thank you so much for watching this video go check this build out on the gallery and i'll see you in the next video